What if I told you that trees could talk? Not in a fairy tale way, depending on how you look at it, but through a incredibly complex hidden language hidden beneath our very feet. Prepare to have your mind blown as we uncover the secret conversations of the forest, revealing how these silent giants share resources and information in a network more sophisticated than we've imagined. Back in the late 1990s, forest ecologist Dr. Suzanne Samard shook the scientific world with her discovery of the Wood Wide Web, a massive underground fungal network that connects trees. Through this mycorrhizal network, trees exchange water, nutrients, and even chemical signals. Think of it as the forest's internet, where cooperation is the one rule of survival. Here's where it gets wild. When one tree is stressed, say by drought or pest, it can signal others through these underground fungal highways. Nearby trees often respond by adjusting their own chemistry or even sending nutrients to the struggling tree. In fact, research published in 2018 in Nature showed that resource sharing between trees increases a forest resilience against stressors like droughts, wildfires, and even disease. It's not survival of the fittest, it's survival of the connected. And forests don't just share resources, they also share memory. Older mother trees, the giants of the forest, have deeper root systems and more fungal connections. Studies by Samard and her colleagues at the University of British Columbia found that these elders act as information hubs, passing on critical survival data to seedlings. For example, they can teach younger trees when to conserve water during droughts or warn them of insect attacks. This phenomenon is sometimes called forest memory. It's like the elders are whispering, we've seen this before and here's how you survive. So next time you step into a forest, remember you're walking inside an ancient intelligence on top of ancient intelligence and a community that thinks, remembers, and adapts as one. Respect your trees. Forests are more than just trees. They're living wisdom rooted in cooperation. And I definitely believe we all have something to learn from forests and trees and how they communicate and work together. If you want to dive deeper, check out the research of Dr. Suzanne Samard, Dr. Monica Gagliano's work on plant communication, and the book, The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wallenbin. You'll never look at forests the same way again. And this is my big beauty right here is the reason we bought this house. I'll show you. Look at this, look at this baby. Definitely not a baby, but this is one of my favorite trees. Bye friends.